The next pattern in the Moving Features Between Objects series is called Introduce Foreign Method. The motivation behind this pattern is that you have a server class that needs an additional method, but you can't modify the class. Now keep in mind in this context a server class doesn't necessarily mean a, a web service or a network server of some kind. It's just an object from which you're requesting data. Now in this case we have this object that has a date time on it called previous end and we need to get a new value from that date time that happens to be at midnight the following day of previous end. So in this case date time is the server class and this example is the client class. Now let's assume we can't modify the object date time and so we have to introduce a foreign method. Now this is very similar to extract method so we can use the same functionality we'll call this get next day essentially what that's done is introduce a method that exists only to modify the date time and get a new value for it and now there are a number of different options we can do with this first of all I might want to turn this into a property because, well, we're not modifying anything. We're just observing something. That seems a little cleaner now. We don't have the parentheses there. We're just saying that it's the next day, which is a property of this object. However, with C Sharp, we have another option as well, and that's called an extension method. So let's back this out. Now let's say we want to make sure that this is something that's available on date time in general and not something available only inside of our example. Well, we can go ahead and do that. We can put this extension method class anywhere. For now, I'll just put it alongside the example. Call it date time extensions. We're going to return a date time. We'll call it next day. We have to pass in a date time to start from. If you're not familiar with the syntax for extension methods, the, the keyword this is, along with being static, part of what describes it as an extension method. and essentially means that we're going to call this method on an instance of date time. So that's what the this keyword is for, is that this is the instance on which we're calling the method. And now we just need to return the value that we want, which is a new date time, start year, start month, and start day plus one. And so now we can make this clear by calling it as previous end dot next day. So as you see that method is now extending this and can act as sort of a foreign method that we've added to this class without being able to actually modify this class. Now it's still a method. I would still prefer it to be a property. Currently that's not supported in C sharp. I Hope it is at some point in the future having extension properties. But right now, extension methods do the job just fine. And that's it for the introduce foreign method pattern. Thanks for watching.